Yo, this is David Diamante. You're watching Pound for Pound TV. It's just, it's a blessing, man, for Brooklyn, for the borough, for the sport, for New York. I mean, the whole thing that Barclays Center is here, and it's really the hottest venue, the sexiest venue in the world right now, and it's, it's really absolutely amazing. It's, uh, if you haven't been to the Barclays Center yet, it's, first of all, it's right at the corner of Atlantic and Flatbush. You close to, it's like the third largest uh, subway hub and all, transportation hub in all of New York City. You've got basically every train, two, three, four, five, BD, MQ, whatever it is, the, the Long Island Railroad, the path, so it all comes here. It's easy to get to. They get the great lighting. They get the great seats. It's not a, the sight lines are incredible, so it's a great venue. That's number one. And then on this card, to have guys like Boyd Melson, who's doing what he's doing, Danny Jacobs. I mean, the Danny Jacobs story is amazing. Paulie Malinaji, the stuff that Paulie's been through, one of the hardest working guys in boxing to come back and to be to be defending his belt right here. You know, he hasn't fought in Brooklyn since 2001 when he made, he debuted in Coney Island. So now, you know, in 2012, 11 years later, to be here defending a strap that he went all the way to the Ukraine to get, you know, that's a, that's a blessed thing. So Louis Colazzo, this is one of our, our, you know, one of our guys from Williamsburg, Brooklyn, a local guy. Eddie Gomez is from the Bronx, but he's a New Yorker. There's a lot of great guys on the card. And, of course, Eric Morales and, and Danny Garcia and, and, you know, all respect to all the other fighters on the card. It's just, it's a stacked card. I mean, four world titles. I think it's great for Brooklyn. It's great for New York. It's great. You know, I, I'm right here in the neighborhood, you know, um, and uh, I have a cigar lounge just a few blocks away from from the Barclays Center. And when I first heard that uh, the Nets were coming here, I was really excited. Of course, I was going to be a Brooklyn Nets fan because I'm a Brooklyn fan. And um, then all of a sudden, I heard they were looking for a voice, and you know, it got got worked out. I went down, did the audition. They had quite a lot of people that came out. I think there was like 500 people or something came out. Um, and uh, you know, I was the last man standing. And uh, you know, it was blessed for that. And um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I just I work hard, and um, you know, I care a lot about Brooklyn. Um, I love the sport of basketball. It's like I said, I love competition. Um, so I lo I've always loved basketball. Basketball is a big sport right here in this borough. You know, um, you know, and so uh, it just makes sense. And so I'm very proud to be representing my borough uh, and the Brooklyn Nets in the NBA. Your name is becoming um, comparable to Michael Buffett. You well, know, yeah, you you out there in a lot of fighting fight events. A lot of people are seeing you now. Sure. Well, I mean, first of all, uh, I'm a friend of Michael's, and um, I have so much respect for him. The fact he's a Hall of Famer, um, and he's really elevated uh, my profession. You know, way before I was even in this profession. So I have to give all the credit in the world to a guy like that. And to say for you to say that is it's a big honor. Um, but at the same time, something else, too, is that, you know, some people have said, oh, you know, you're going to be the next Michael Buffett. I said, I want to be the first David Diamante. I don't want to be like anyone's style, even though I think Michael's style is incredible. Um, the only thing I really want to uh, image off of Michael is his professionalism, you know, um, because the guy carries himself so well and he's very professional. That, I think, is a great thing to, to mirror. But as far as everything else, I'd like to be my own style. And I'm doing other stuff, too, you know. Um, for me, it's not necessarily just about boxing, even though boxing and all the fight fans know this, that's my passion. That's how I got started in this, it's through boxing. I'm not going anywhere. I love this sport, like, true, you right, know, right. to the core. Right. Um, uh, I'm a fan like you all out there, you know, so I'm just like you. Um, but the thing is, you know, I have a show now, I have a national morning show on NBC, on the NBC Sports Network. Um, it's called The Lights, and basically it's a, it's a highlight show. Uh, you get all your sports in half the time. It's a 20-minute show. It airs for four hours every day on the NBC Sports Network. We cover basketball, baseball, football, you know, everything. I'm um, working hard to get boxing on the show also. Um, so I'm doing that. You know, of course, the NBA, the Brooklyn Nets being the voice of the Nets. So there's different things that I'm branching out. And, and boxing, I think, is always, like, where I come back to, you know, and I'll never stray from it. But there's a lot of other stuff that I'm doing. So... Like I said, I mean, it's that would be an honor to be to mention with Michael Buffer. You know? <laughs>